Okay, I'm had enough. I've had enough. This is tomfoolery here. CNLS, CLNS Media. You dickheads. Talking about trading JB. Acting like we ain't gonna have a choice to, to trade JB next year. Let me just make this perfectly clear to y'all. Once we get some of these contracts out the books in all season, we have a chance of getting Bradley Beal being, to be our third option. I don't think we're 500 if we get Bradley Beal, add him with Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum. This idea that we're going to be a 500 team because of JB and not having a point guard, it's hilarious to me. We literally have not had a whole roster all season. We literally have had no whole roster. We've missed a guy every game this whole year. I'm not saying this team's great, but trading Jalen Brown at any point makes absolutely no sense. This idea, I'm seeing people talk about trade Jalen Brown for Jalen Brunson? Jalen Brown for Ben Simmons? Jalen Brown, this is this is ridiculous, man. You're not even you're not gonna get equal value for Jalen Brown. You're not. I'm sorry, you're not gonna get equal value. Every team will trade for him, and it will be better for it. You're not gonna get equal value for Jalen Brown. Why in the blue hell would you trade Jalen Brown for a pass first point guard? Let me ask you something. How does that even make sense? We've seen how Ben Simmons performs in the playoffs. You think it's going to be any different in Boston? Just because Jason Tatum's playing with him ain't going to change that. And Jalen Brunson's a bench player. No to she's better than Jalen Brunson. He's a bench player. The utter disrespect I hear for Jalen Brown every year. This, this is ridiculous. Every goddamn year is Trey Jalen Brown. It's Jalen Brown's fault. Trey Jalen. This dude just dropped 50 points, 11 rebounds, four assists. If he doesn't do that, we don't win the game. And all I keep hearing is trade him when his value's high. Trade him now. In what world does it make sense to leave Jason Tatum to be the only star on the team? Get a veteran point guard or a semi all star guy. Only for those guys to walk out. You already know when they trade Jalen Brown, guess who's leaving? Jason Tatum's leaving. Hell, if they trade Jalen Brown, then Bradley Beal ain't coming to Boston. Because you need a big three to win in this league. And if he sees that Jalen's gone, they're going to be like, oh, word? I love you, JT, but I, this ain't happening here. I'll go somewhere else. Some of you Celtics fans and some of you Celtics media guys like Jimmy Toscano, you idiots need to be drug tested. You need to be drug tested. Some of you guys act as if like we have no way to improve this roster. You forget that we got cap room coming up next year. We have no cap room right now. This team's just going to have to do what it's doing this year. Every game, I, this dude just literally carried your team. It's Trey Jalen Brown. Every game. This is ridiculous. Does this guy have photos of you banging another dude or something? What the hell is going on here? Like, my throat is literally cracking right now. <clears throat> this is every game. Let the man be. He's not the problem. And trading him is not the solution. Because you know the Stuthers are going to get heisted if they trade him. Listen, I like Carl Anthony Towns. He ain't, he ain't JB worthy. All right? Sabonis, so nah. He's okay. Nah, not for JB. Jalen Brunt, no. Ben Simmons, no. I see people even making up crazy fantasy trades. Jay, trade Jalen Brown for James Harden. He has one year left in Brooklyn, whatever. 
Get out of here. Stop with all this nonsense, man. What are we panicking for? We're not winning a title this year. News, news flash. We still have a chance to get the fourth or fifth seed and make a, a somewhat okay playoff run. The design was not for us to win this year, but was to build on some momentum to go into the next year. So when we actually get some players that actually are worth paying on this team, then now we can really make a run. You guys, man, y'all don't deserve Jalen Brown. Y'all don't deserve Jalen Brown. I see people talking about free JB. I feel it. I feel it, man. Y'all don't deserve Jalen Brown. He's selfish. He doesn't play hard all the time. He turns the ball over. You idiots don't understand. We probably would have never went to the conference finals twice without him. We probably never wouldn't have won this game without him. We wouldn't have had a chance to win the Clipper game that we lost without JB. You guys want to shit on him for his shooting. This is ridiculous, man. Let that man be. You're going to make that man walk in free agency. Or if he does get traded, he's going to come back and torture Celtics every single time. He'll win a chip somewhere. He gets traded to Golden State. He gets traded to any of these teams. He'll win a chip. Oh, I have no doubts about it. He'll be the number one guy. He'll win the chip. You guys need to chill. Realize what you have. Be happy we got a victory. Because not every team has two star, two star players. You guys just want Jay Crowder to come back and, and a bunch of role players. And that, oh, we're going to win the title that way. Some of you people are idiots. And I question your brain. I question your brain cells, man. Some of you people really don't know how to play basketball, know basketball, don't know anything about X's and O's. They, you don't know anything about ball. You guys just watch results and just say, well, we need to go. You name me any franchise with a player or one uh, A or B player plays for their team and he's constantly being told to get traded every year. I don't hear that about Luka. I don't hear that about Tatum here i don't hear that about carl anthony towns in minnesota they've been losing forever you think they talk about trading them at this point i can keep going on the names i keep going on the name i don't hear brandon the damn pelican stink they got brandon ingram they don't talk about trading him trey trey young never gets to you know we got to trade trey young treatment Stop it. Be happy that yeah, Danny Ainge drafted two stars at the third pick in back to back years. Because when they're gone, believe me, we're going to stink. You guys want to blow it up? Be careful what you ask for. Just might get it. Gold Squad TV.